They came in poisoning wells, killing Palestinians, massacring. People don't know this history. Take the goal when I started fighting was always to become the UFC champion. The only elite XC welterweight champion. And former Strike Force middleweight champion. People always say you follow your dreams and doing all this. You can't just say you're gonna follow your dreams and not work your ass off. What was the reason that you wanted to get involved in MMA? It doesn't really make any sense, but as soon as I started training, I was just completely hooked and absorbed. I was just so addicted, it's what I wanted to do. And when you wanna do something that bad, you have to just follow it. Big thing that I wanna ask you is about your fight with GSP. That fight was absolutely insane. I've been to hundreds of fights. Yeah. That's like the top two or three most hyped fights I've ever been to. How do you manage in a fight the mental fatigue? Fighting is a tough, tough sport. But the truth of the matter is a lot of people don't know that the Jewish people are the ones that brought terrorism to the Middle East. English soldiers and hanging them. They were doing massive terrorism out there. And I'm getting like death threats. Some of them might be legitimate. The big thing right now is Mike Tyson versus Jake. What do you think the outcome of that fight's going to be? I think YouTube boxing is great for the sport. I know a lot of fighters probably aren't going to like me saying that. No, I don't hate trans people, but I'm not going to pretend like it's a real woman. That's what I draw the line. I'm not going be like, no, I think you're a woman. What the fuck, dude? Younger me would go and beat the shit out of this dude. Testosterone and estrogen are extremely serious, heavy drugs. And they're giving this to teenagers like nothing because they want to switch such at sex. You become like a voice, a little bit of a red pill voice. You have to be like a strong, dominant man, always being tougher, never quit, never backing down.